we've got this uh, coast to coast intercontinental coaxial cable hookup between your house and my house, Castle Cornet and Last Manor, where we're apparently going to simulcast this this video that we're about to talk about, and where we can both see it and hear it at the same time, and, and the folks can hear it at least. Um, but it's by the this Enzo Amore, and. The artist it, formerly known. <laughs> so he can't well, use where, that name ever again. Yeah. He can. Well, oh, that, that's that's not even his name. No, his name is like <laughs> so, Eric Arndt. Well, well, but I, I knew it wasn't his real. But I mean, it's not the name does not belong to him. Is what I'm trying to say to you. No, they gave. So this. So what's he calling himself now? You know, Dick Putts or what? Real one. Okay, it sounds like a fucking uh, radio network to challenge the NPR folks, but. Um, anyway, this guy, uh, he was accused as, as we figured falsely by a woman on the internet who apparently was goddamn fucking nuts and just, they were all nuts. I believe that's what inspired me to coin the phrase. If you don't want to be people to think you're stupid, don't do stupid shit and don't hang around stupid people doing stupid shit. Cause they were all a bunch of stupid people hanging around with each other doing stupid shit. Right. And, but he basically got fired from the WWE for not telling them that he'd been under investigation for rape and who to sodomy with a goat and whatever the fuck he was charged with while they were pushing him as a top guy on television. Was that basically the, the summation of it? I believe so, yes. And since then, we hadn't heard from him. Thankfully, the world's been a quieter and better place because I did get emails from a few people that I have worked with in the past within the the broad WWE umbrella, let's say that takes in a lot of people who said that they have met this fucking guy and that I would have probably shot him or stabbed him in the heart with a ink pen or done something to, to murder him within a week of having him in any of my programs. Right. He just, he's an annoying fuck signed Linda McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, but I've never met him. Don't know anything about him except what I've been told, which hadn't been favorable. I've, I've, I've watched him on a couple of his performances, if you can call them that, on television, and I don't see why the fuck that anybody would want to watch that or hear him talk or whatever the fuck, but apparently he had a good catchphrase, uh, which is all important these days. So now, after however many months it's been, this guy has broken his silence, and he has issued this video that he, the, this rap video that he believes is, I guess, A, going to... Uh, redeem him as a, a major entertainer and restore his career and he's going to be a big star and and a lot of people have seen this thing but i'm 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 thinking that many of them may be watching it ironically from what i can gather from this guy do you think that's the case i'm not sure if he understands irony well, I don't know if he understood, but I have a feeling a lot of people are watching this like they watch the fucking, you know, a video with the Benny Hill music of fucking people falling down the fucking hill or whatever. But anyway, so you're going to apparently be able to, to, to press the play button and we're going to all watch this and listen to this together. This is this is Enzo Amore, who is now real one and his new rap video, right? I, I believe so. I believe we'll be able to do it. I know Styles is in Barbados this week, but I think I can handle this intercontinental. He's, he's still in that rehab facility. I'm telling you, that's what the real story is. And with friends like you giving that away, well, I think he may stay there a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I guess that was in public, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't no. really mean to do that. All right. Well, listen, let's let's play this video. If you are ready, I will play yes, this. Yeah. I'm going to make it a little lower, so hopefully you can comment over what you see. If it's too loud... <laughs> Uh, just honk your horn or something. And okay, make it a little very, very good. We are live from Brooklyn, New York for the 25th anniversary of sports. Oh, God damn, he's gained a lot of weight. We will be live oh, no, that's not him. Oh, this guy's not him? No, he's a spoof of wrestling fans. Ah, it's the 25th anniversary of wrestling tonight. And if you knew anything about commitment, you wouldn't be asking me to go to the store for you. Now, let me say and do my work. Fucking piece of shit in that wrestling. Mom, you let me what the? Job. Oh, so he's insulting the wrestling fans that are probably the only people that give a shit whether he bursts into flames or not. Well, no, you see, this guy's now getting upset because he just saw something on your lobby, son of a bitch, oh. sitting on your fucking couch with your fucking phone in your hand, doing your what? armchair detective work. Oh, good you know lord. What the fuck's going on? When was the last time you kept a two month social media silence? You think I wasn't going to say shit? 
I'm gonna let y'all talk shit, talk shit. If I had a fuck to give, I would give it. If you're a frog, you ain't gotta leave. All you gotta do is rip it. Wait a minute, I thought this was in English. For a minute, then a minute to win it. Sky's the limit. Sorry, officer. Gotta admit it, yeah, I'm over the limit. Left car now with a one way ticket. Rolled up with it. Spark that bitch. Turn on it down with it. Let my lips. Piss takes lips. Bitch, I just shit it. I spill the hate on the crazy eights. Uh, let's see y'all pivot. Ball my court, bounce back, wearing number 24. Look shit footprint right off my image. Wow. Just love. For the first time ever, I'm speechless. Once I love, once I hate. This is the first time people have seen him in my life. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna do? Got him on the toes like a midget. Out of here. Is this why he got kicked off all those buses? Couple tears at the funeral. They cut his joy. Who funded this? Who the fuck funded this? What the fuck? Obviously, he did. Phoenix, middle finger to the sky, gripping my consensual penis. Are you sure this isn't a therapy tape from his his Commitment ceremony? Proof was only ingredient I used to make this shit. They can feel when you real. When you genuine, you buy the win. Six years as a role model. Time to sign the green model. Lord, full throttle. I ain't thinking about tomorrow. I ain't got a buck to bar. Lawyer, help it, wipe it down. See you at the civil trial. Bet some wages getting down. <laughs> See you at the civil trial. Now he's dragging a casket. To my image that you taught us. I ain't asking for an ounce of sorrow. So this was day my life. I can't wait for tomorrow. I can't wait for tomorrow. Rockstar lifestyle might not make it. Fame can be forsaken. Tweeting allegation, falsified statement, fake news and defamation. <laughs> Due to media speculation, based on misinformation, is the basis of damnation for our whole fucking nation. Break a story, and then you jump to conclusion. Break an ankle when you land and never cast the resolution. How did he pass their wellness program? Restitution in the midst of dissolution. Choosing public prosecution over constitution. Ain't the right solution. Gender persecution hurts the Me Too movement and our women's revolution. The fuck you do? All of you. He's defending the Me Too revolution. Stream Me Too. I stand by you. I stand by you. Corruptly accused. Justice long overdue. So here's a big fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, from me to you. And to any woman that's out of me, my dear mama's still fucking proud of me. You got your 15 minutes, girl. I ain't mad at you. I'm in love for you. I got me against the world. It's still our eyes. From the ashes like it a never ends. <laughs> it never ends. It never ends. I don't know what he's doing. He's grabbing his consensual penis again. Out in Phoenix when I say the shit I mean. I can't imagine. This for all my fans are waiting. And it's the tightest <laughs> as free age. Bitch, I'm reincarnated. Uh, I can't imagine anybody wants to consent with that penis. I just I just had to look up the lyrics and I pulled up a few of them right here. Well, yeah, because I honestly was he he was speaking English most of that time, wasn't he? It's just I recognized a few of the words. It's just that he's so horrible at what he's apparently doing. Help me. Re, re, what was some of the stuff he was saying? Still, I rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Middle finger to the ground. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Still, I rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Middle finger to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Still, I rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Middle finger to the sky, gripping my consensual penis. <laughs> Lion ass hoe at a phoenix. <laughs> <sighs> Bitch, them wages getting garnished for my image that you tarnished. <laughs> <laughs> 
I gotta see if I can find more of these lyrics. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I can just see. I can see them presenting the case of how great his image was before she tarnished it. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Fucking God. moron. I, like I said, I've never met the guy, but now I officially hate him. Uh, yeah, I would have. I would have stabbed him in the heart the first day, probably. It's really hard to read this because it's just kind of like words. I'm gonna let you talk shit, talk shit. If I had a fuck to give, I would give it. If you feel froggy, ain't got a leap. All you got to do is rib it. Getting on zero fucks, give an exhibit. I got nothing to lose. Minute for minute. Then I'm in it to win it. Sky's the limit. Sorry, officer. Got to admit it. Yeah, I'm over the limit. <laughs> Left court now with a one-way ticket. Rolled up with it. Sparked that bitch. Hut 99 to left. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> There's... Oh. Is there is there any cooking recipes in the fucking lyrics? That's verse one. Oh, what it, uh, <clears throat> don't go any further. Consensual um, penis. Oh, that, by the way, that should have been the name of the track if you really wanted to make an impact. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that would have been the one thing that he should have done. Do you remember "Detachable Penis," the song <laughs> in the early nineties? I, I fortunately missed that. King Missile, I think, detachable penis. But anyway, was it was it the later Lorena Bobbitt story, or it, it actually came out right around that same time, I believe, maybe a few years before that. Yes. Well, there you have it. But Enzo Amore, or excuse me, Real One, staging a, a comeback of sorts. I don't know what he's coming back to, or <laughs> <laughs> who he's coming back to. But how much? You th- what kind of? How won the who? That, won you know that thing? was that's- well done. Yeah. I mean. It's- as the video if, if, if you know that's why i think that's why people are watching it because i've never seen video that looked that professional of a guy having a fucking complete mental meltdown and just you just want to reach through and just punch him in the fucking face through the goddamn screen but at the same time the budget was but isn't he the fucking mark for himself that that bought like a ten thousand dollar front row ufc ticket or what or for mcgregor and mayweather or one of the big fights just so he could be there because he thinks people care yeah and then there were stories uh you know he was going out with that Liv morgan who's now on the main roster who's a very attractive uh woman i must say and apparently he was cheating on her and he was running into strippers and he would just like turn them off so they would start like going on social media and be like who's this guy telling me he's a star making millions of dollars i've never heard of this guy he would go in there and try to like big time the strippers and, and they oh for god's sake <laughs> <laughs> ah. 